The number one money-making idea on the planet is mastering the art of saying no. It's the number one money-making idea on the planet. If you watch the Warren Buffett documentary, he'll say that out of every 100 pitches I receive on businesses, I say no to 99 and I say yes to 100. You know, and one of the, the top five wealthiest people on the planet because he has mastered the art of saying no. And so when we look at this, we look at, we look at what does the average loan originator in uh, the world actually make? And this is how their day stacks up. It's $63,400 a year. And when you look at the time allocation, you can see that 5% of the day is in what we call active selling. So active selling is working with a buyer to do a loan that is going to trid trigger, go to processing, and 90% of the time close. So only 5% of the day. 24% of the day is spent prospecting. Okay, so we have problem number one. What is problem number one? Just in those two pieces of the pie chart. <laughs> okay, but just those two pieces. Make the observation on the active selling piece and the prospecting piece. We're prospecting five times more than is actually being yielded in active selling. Code, our conversion rate sucks. Okay, so if I'm spending 24% of my day prospecting and I'm only getting 5% of the day converting to an active conversation with somebody, I got a prospecting issue, right? I got a skill issue. I got a conversion issue. And then, to your point, out of whack, we look at the rest of this and we've got 7% in problem solving, 38% in admin, 11% driving to closing, coming back and forth, doing this and all that, and then 15% Downtime. Do you know of the top 14 industries in America that the mortgage industry has the greatest percentage of downtime? Why, why is that? Why is it? It's like we need recovery, right? We need to recover because the, the day is so messed up. 15% <clears throat> of the day, what is 10% what is of the day? It's, it's you know, on eight hours, what is that? So that would be 60 to 8 times 480 minutes. So yeah, that's a consultation right there. Just being downtime could be three grand. Travel time, you know, so the goal is not to travel. The goal is to have enough value in the market that everybody comes to you. Um, you know, and by the way, Alan was asking me, because Alan lives in Texas and all of his clients are here in California, but he grew his mortgage business in California. So he said, is it possible to be in Texas and run a California business? I said, absolutely. The only change is people probably aren't going to get a, on an airplane and fly to you for a consultation, okay? So you can use Zoom and you can use FaceTime and you do that kind of stuff, but... Um, Five years ago, we interviewed a guy on stage at Mastery. His name was Mark Bayman. You may remember him being on stage. He lives in Beverly Hills. His business is in New York City. All his realtors are in New York. All his borrowers are in New York. But he lives in Beverly Hills. He lives in Beverly Hills because his wife's dream was to become an actress, which she is now an actress. And so he flies back to New York about every eight to 10 weeks, spends a week there with all of his agents, and then flies back here and does all of his loan apps via uh, Zoom, and they're in New York, and he's here, okay? So, so we don't have this issue of how do we, we don't have to travel anywhere, essentially, but we do want people to see the value at least the first time that they've done a loan with us to come to us, right? And then anytime after that, the 6,000 people that might be in your database, next time we do a loan, we don't have to meet face-to-face. -face. We can do everything electronically, you know, and I'm going to call you once a year, so... You look at this and you go, so where's the major problem? The ma there's two major problems. One is their prospecting is not yielding enough real selling, and that's because they're prospecting the wrong people. They don't know what to say to the right people. They have low conversion. They have horrible follow-up. All those, all those things stacked up. And then we look at the balance of this, and if we just take problem solving uh, and admin, we're at 45% uh, of the day. So right there, we're knocking on the door four hours. Here, we had travel time. We're now at four and a half hours. We had downtime, and we're now at you know, five and a half, six hours. We put all that together. No wonder the average income is $63,000 a year. And by the way, most people that kind of have that, 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 that experience are not enjoying the business. So the minimum income in a lead is $837,000 a year. And, and here's what their model looks like. So half the day is selling. Ironically, the prospecting time is the same but the prospecting time is yielding 2x on active selling. 
So if the prospecting time is, is yielding 2x on active selling, what are the things that they have done well? They have great handoffs from their real referral partners. They have great setup and disruptive interviewing skills. Okay, they have massively powerful follow-up skills. And nobody slips through the cracks. And by the way, because they have a point of sale strategy, every buyer at point of sale, at application, oftentimes yields another buyer within the next 30 to 60 days. That's how they're getting a 2x on prospecting. How do I take a buyer and, and have that buyer give me five more deals before the close of escrow? And then there, you look at their problem solving time, it's about half. Admin is only about one fifth of the low payoff uh, low performer. Travel time is down 75% from the low performer. And they do have downtime because that's a 52 minutes, 17 minute kind of deal, right? 52 minutes of work and 17 minutes of break. And downtime is good. You can't just keep gunning it, gunning it, gunning it. And you look at that and you go, okay, so the only difference between the guys and gals that make a lot of money and those who don't is really what? Two things. One is active selling time. And the only way to get more active selling time is to not do the things that are taken away from active selling time. It's that straightforward. 